Hello everyone. Welcome to Cyber Today Academy. Today we will talk about network black hole. In this video, we explain what is network black hole, why we need it and what is DNS based black hole list. Let's start with what is network black hole. In networking, a black hole refers to a place, interface or VLAN in the network where incoming or outgoing traffic is silently throws away or dropped without informing the source that the data did not reach its intended recipient. A null route or black hole route is a network route, routing table entry that goes nowhere. Matching packets are dropped, ignored rather than forwarded, acting as a kind of very limited firewall. The act of using null routes is often called black hole filtering. Black hole filtering refers specifically to dropping packets at the routing level usually using a routing protocol to implement the filtering on several routers at once, often dynamically to respond quickly to distributed denial of service attacks. The classic interface used on a Cisco router to do this is the null zero interface. Why do we need a black holes route? Black hole routes can help you by dropping malicious traffic if you're under DDoS attack or a worm attack. Yes, you may be able to do this just as well with an access control list, ACL but using black hole route to drop the same traffic of requires less resources, CPU, RAM of the router. Also, filtering traffic with ACL will inform the sender that the packets did not arrive at their destination. What is DNS-based black hole list, DNSBL? A domain name system-based black hole list, DNSBL or real-time black hole list, RBL is a service for operation of mail servers to perform a check via a domain name system. DNS query whether a sending host's IP address is blacklisted for email spam. Most server software can be configured to consult several DNS-based black hole lists, providing the user with even better protection against unwanted junk mail. Dot. A DNSBL is a software mechanism, rather than a specific list or policy. Dozens of DNSBLs exist. They use a wide array of criteria for listing and delisting addresses. These may include listing the addresses of honeypots or other machines being used to send spam, internet service providers, ISPs who willingly host spammers, or those which have sent spam to a honeypot system. End of lesson. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video please press like and subscribe. Goodbye.